we are going to discuss the problem D from Code Forces Round 655 Ohm Car and Circle. So, like Danny, the local math maniac, is translated by circles. So, Ohm Car recently created like this problem in which you have like n non negative integers a1 till an arranged in a circle. So, you have n integers arranged in a circle and n is odd. Okay, so what you do here is like like for any a of i, the a of i minus 1 and the next number like a of i plus 1 are adjacent to it. So like for any a of i, a of i minus 1 is an a of i plus 1 because they are in circle, they are adjacent to it. And in one operation what you'll do, you can choose any of the numbers in the circle and replace it with the sum of the two elements adjacent to it. So like if I can choose any number and replace it with the sum of its adjacent two numbers and you will go on deleting such that only one number remains in the circle. So help Danny to find out the maximum possible circular value after all these sequence of operations. Okay, I hope you understand the question first. Now let's move on to some example to make it more clear. So you can, if you write this like question, you can easily understand some of the patterns. So let's just take one example. Just write some of the numbers. Like, okay, six. So these are odd numbers. Okay. So let's assume that uh, I take these two numbers and merge them together in this position. So I take this number and for these two numbers I listen to it. So I merge them together on this position and it turns out to be 9. So it will become like 9, 8 and 9. Okay, so I've used these two numbers. Now because like I can use now these two numbers merge them together at this position and it will become like 18. So 18 is the last number. Cool. So what actually you have seen that I have used these three numbers. This number, this number and this number. Okay. So this is like I have used these three numbers which are like so for every number you just skip one number. So like if I have started taking this number then I will merge this number, this number and this number. Why? Because you can you will like combine these two numbers and put this on this position. You will combine like all these position and put this on this position and finally you will do the summation of all the alternative numbers. So this is the trick. You are actually doing the summation of all these alternative numbers. This, this, this. Cool. But now let's assume. So this is the first thing you have to observe. Now let's assume that uh, we are not taking this at the first point but let, let's assume we are taking this at the first point. So if I take this as a first point which means that uh, like I in this I have you have to take this as this is the first time and first point and I will take its adjacent and combine them and put it on this position because I'm taking this as a first point I will take its adjacent this and this I will combine and put this at this position so I'm taking this number now to add so I have to mark which number I will add so I will add this number I will add this number and then as you can see we are already or we are also like adding the number which is just alternated to each other okay so i have take this number then this number then i cannot take this number so i will go in circle and i will take this number so as you can see in the first thing like i can like copy this sometimes to make it more clear okay so now i have taken this number now if i start from this position i can take this number this number and I cannot take this number, so I will take this number. Okay, let's start from this. Take this number. Cannot take this, so I will take this. I cannot take this, I will take this. And so I actually have to find out these summations. Okay, now how will you find out the pattern? On, like how will you do the summations of these numbers? Like for this, I have to find out the summation of these two, three numbers, for these three numbers, the three, three numbers. So I just actually find out the alternative numbers. So for or because we are just finding out for alternative numbers, we can use prefix sums because we are just if we find out the summation of like this number, this number, this number, prefix sums of the even numbers and prefix sums of the odd numbers, we are just actually using the prefix sums for like as you can see, uh, I can also put it this. Uh, because like this, this can be the first one which I've used. This is just the prefix sums at the like, even positions. Okay, now if I choose this, this is just the prefix summation of the odd position 
and the prefix sum of the first even position. This is the prefix sums of, as you can see, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the prefix sums of the even position starting from this. Okay, and the prefix sums at the odd position till this. So as you can see, whichever number I'm choosing, I have to do a prefix sum of the even numbers from this till end and so like they, this list there's a suffix sum so I have to do a suffix sum for all these positions and for this previous number I have to do a prefix sum so as you can see if I choose this number like if I choose this 8 then I have to do a prefix sum or sorry a suffix sum for this number and a prefix sum of alternative numbers for this number. So what I can do here is I can just make an array and store the prefix sum of the alternative numbers. Okay, so like if the first number is 3, the second number is 4, I'm storing the prefix sum. So the next number is just 6 plus 3, which is 9, which is 8 plus 4, which is 12. 9 plus 6 like 15 this is the prefix sum of the alternative numbers now we'll do the same for the like alternative numbers for the suffix so like last is 9 then it is 8 then we'll do like 9 plus 6 which is 15 and so on and then for every number for every i what we'll do we'll find out what is the suffix sum starting at i and what is the prefix sum starting at i minus 1. I hope you understand the logic. Let's move down to the code part. So code is also very simple which I have just told you. We will just make this is the array in which all the vectors this is prefix and suffix store all the numbers then find out the prefix. Okay so for the first two numbers it's just the the actual numbers but for the but if i become greater than or equal to 2 then only we can add the numbers because for the first two numbers there is no like two numbers before it okay so for uh, if we go greater than or equal to 2 then only we'll add the i minus 2 number so this is the prefix sum this is just the prefix sums we are creating for all the alternative numbers and this is just the suffix sums we are creating for the alternative numbers which i've told you okay now what you'll do now the answer is just you'll iterate from for all the numbers it is just the prefix sum or sorry, suffix sum from from i and prefix sum from i minus 1 which I told you suffix sum from if I take this i then the suffix sum from i and the prefix sum from i minus 1 and you have to find out the maximum of these two. I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. If you still have any doubts please mention now. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Keep coding. Bye.